Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, mercifully look upon the devotion of this people called to a new birth, who like the heart seek the fountain of thy waters, and mercifully grant that the thirst of their faith may by the mystery of baptism sanctify them in body and soul. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Ghost, ever one God, world without end. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, be present at the mysteries, be present at the sacraments of thy great goodness, and send forth the spirit of adoption for the regenerating of the new peoples, whom the font of baptism doth bring forth unto thee that what is to be done by our humble ministry may be effectually fulfilled by thy power. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth with thee in the unity of the Holy Ghost, liveth and reigneth God throughout all ages of ages. Amen. to the work of thy sacraments and though we be unworthy to perform mysteries so great yet thou dost not leave us destitute of the gifts of thy grace but mercifully inclinest thine ears even unto these our supplications O God whose spirit in the first beginnings of the world moved over the waters that even then the nature of water might conceive the virtue of sanctification O God who didst wash away in the waters the iniquities of a sinful world and didst even in the outpouring of the flood show forth in a figure our regeneration, that by the mystery of this same element there should be an end to sin, and likewise a beginning of virtue. Look, Lord, upon the face of thy church, and multiply in her the power of thy regeneration, for thou dost by the streams of thine Abundance, grace, make glad thy city, and open the fount of baptism throughout the whole world for the renewing of the nations, that by the command of thy majesty she may receive from the Holy Ghost 
the grace of thine only begotten Son. May he, by the secret mingling of his divine power, make fruitful this water prepared for the regeneration of mankind, that having received sanctification and being born again a new creature, there may come forth an offspring of heaven from the spotless womb of this divine fountain and that all whether sex divide them in body or age in time may alike be brought into one childhood by grace their mother for him so lord at the command let every unclean spirit depart for hence be all the wickedness of the craft of the devil let no power of the enemy here have place or portion, let it not ensnare and compass us around, let it not weigh, lay us in secret, let it not taint us with corruption. May this holy and undefiled creature be free from every assault of the enemy, and purified by the departure of all iniquity. May it be a living fountain, water that doth regenerate, a purifying stream, that all who shall be washed in this laver of salvation may by the operation of the Holy Ghost within them obtain the grace of perfect purification. Wherefore I bless thee, O creature of water, by the living God, by the true God, by the Holy God, by God who in the beginning through his word divided thee from the dry land, whose spirit move and upon thee. Who made thee to flow from the fountain of paradise and commanded thee to water the whole earth with thy four rivers, who in the desert bestowed upon thee sweetness when thou wast bitter, that men might drink, and brought thee forth from the rock, the thirsting people. I bless thee also by Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who in Cana of Galilee by a wondrous miracle did change thee through his power into wine, who walked upon thee with his feet, and was baptized in thee by John in the Jordan, who brought thee forth together with blood from his side, and commanded his disciples that believing they should be baptized in the saying, Go ye teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Do thou, almighty God, mercifully assist us who keep these thy commandments, and do thou graciously breathe upon us. Do thou with thy mouth bless this element of water, 
that as by nature it hath power to cleanse and wash the body, so also it may be effectual for the purifying of the soul. Descend upon the fullness of this font. May the power of the Holy Ghost descend upon the fullness of this font. May the power of the Holy Ghost descend upon the fullness of this font. And make the whole substance of this water to be fruitful unto regeneration. Here may the saints of every sin be blotted out. Here may nature created in thine image be restored to the honor of its first estate and cleansed from all the defilements of its old condition that every man who cometh to the sacrament of regeneration may be born again unto the new childhood of true innocence. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who shall come to judge the quick and the dead and the world by fire. May this font be sanctified and made fruitful by the oil of salvation, for such as shall be born again therefrom under life everlasting. Amen. May this inpouring of the chrism of our Lord Jesus Christ and of the Holy Ghost, the Paraclete, be wrought in the name of the Holy Trinity. May this commingling of the chrism of sanctification and of the oil of unction and of the water of baptism be likewise wrought in the name of the Father 
and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. 